Guys, if you're trying to figure out how could I write a formal letter in French, because clearly the verbiage is gonna be different than in English. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to write a formal letter and what words you wanna include. Hi, this is Rochelle DeMeo, your French teacher from Beltier Academy. All right, I might not look formal a teacher like today, I know. That's better. All right, so pointers for writing a professional letter in French. First thing, if you're writing a letter to an organization, a company, or a person, you could address by the name of the organization or the name of the person if you know it. If you don't know it, you'd want to address them by the name of what they do, of what their job entails. For instance, Madame la Directrice, me, le Monsieur Chargé de la Mission, Madame, so they just address me as Madame. Nowadays, <laughs> you do tend to use Madame instead of Mademoiselle. That's kind of changed recently. Like before you'd say Mademoiselle, Madame, Monsieur. Now it's pretty much just Monsieur, Madame, even if it could be a Mademoiselle, so a Miss. Obviously the content of what you write in an email is going to depend on who you address it too. In France, there are different ways to address people, again, based on your relationship with them and what you're trying to communicate. For instance, if I'm simply trying to follow up on a request that I might have legally, I would like to make sure that I include my name, the address, the date, and where I'm writing the letter from. And if I'm trying to say to whom it may concern, then I simply will write à qui de droit. You always want that letter to be conventional to a certain type. You want, you know, to write with black handwriting. If you're handwriting it or typing it out, you know, in the A4 format, that's what we use our eight and a half by 11 is the A4 actually. So you want to kind of stick with those guidelines. Make sure that you have the address of the company, the person that you're sending it to, as well as your own address, the date, as I mentioned, the location of where you are at as well. And as I mentioned, you want to make sure that you're stating why you're writing, l'objet, la référence, and put any references of what you may be writing about, maybe it's a second letter or whatnot. So here it's Madame, j'ai l'honneur de faire connaître, so I have the honor, very elo uh, eloquent words, you know, and then they're just kind of giving me their information and whatnot. And then if you're following up on, on like a request that you made maybe to obtain certain paperwork, then you could say, suite à notre demande, and then write whatever you're, you know, writing to follow up with. Maybe you're trying to get a birth certificate request or whatever it is. In a professional letter, French standard wise, you always want to end with a formule de politesse, a, a polite way of addressing the person. Again, you're going to, at that point, when you put something in a polite form, like I've just shown you, you might also want to include again, their name, if you know it, or their role in the organization. Je vous prie d'agréer, madame, l'expression de mes, de mes salutations distinguées. Monsieur le procureur de la République. Nah, nah, nah. So again, very formal in the way that they write things. So let's look at some other examples. And it's, it's, yeah, everything is written very formally. Let's just put it that way. Sometimes it's kind of like a joke. You feel like, I mean, come on, like just cut your crap and get to the point. <laughs> but that's still the way it's done. So like, first thing you don't know, you know, it's always going to be like that. The professional letter should always be signed and be mindful if you have any attachments, which we call pièce jointe or PJ, pièce jointe, make sure that you include them. If you have to include anything in email and you're saying, hey, I'm attaching en pièce jointe, etc. And then at the end, you know, you could put something cordial such as like, thank you for understanding or thank you for following up, whatever it is. Here I just wrote, merci de votre compréhension, which means, Thank you for understanding. Great job, guys. And then you always leave things kind of cordially, which is very professional, which you could just say cordialement, or you could say bien cordialement, which is very truly. And you might want to include a signature above your name. The two things I'd like to point out is that even if I do do a lot of videos, I do do, ha, that's funny. Um, anyway, even if I do do a lot of different videos on French slang, and we do use a lot of French slang in everyday language and text message, whatever, when you are writing to something that's formal, a bank, a post office request, um, you're trying to get some paperwork done, you're making a request to get uh, a copy of whatever 
government paper, you do want to make sure that you use the formal VU and tenses that we use could vary. I have different videos that explain that, but present tense could, you could be using the present tense. You're looking at the two future tenses you'd use, which future tense you'd use. Well, it wouldn't be the immediate future, it'd be the simple future, things like that. You'd also use subjunctive. And then some of it is just the way it's addressed. It's like, I wish, like switch these certain verbs. We cover all this in our French 201 class or you know, both classes of French 201. But basically, you just want to address the person very politely. One, you don't know them. Even if you may know them, you'd probably still want to keep a certain formality. And number two is that you're kind of requesting a service, so you want to kind of put on your best face. If you're making a request for something, you're trying to get maybe a um, copy of your marriage certificate or whatever it is, then start your letter with your name and address and then to whom you're addressing it to with their address, the date, very important. And then um, here you would request what you're asking for. So here, je suis signé just means, hey, pretty much, hey, my name is, or the name is, born, you put the date you're born, where you're born, souhaiterais faire la demande, I would like to make the following request. And then you'd make your request. At the bottom of whatever you're making, um, you're going to ask for, then you want to say where you wrote your letter. And here you would write, oh, actually it's the 5th of February. You would write the date and then include your signature and then obviously your name. And again, the way a professional letter is written is kind of like an essay, so to speak. So you do want to have your introduction, develop the ideas that are in the body of that email or letter, and then a good strong conclusion that's referencing what you were initially writing about. You do not need to include a personal picture unless you need they ask you to for whatever reason. Unlike when you're writing a French resume, which we'll touch on in another video on how to write a French resume where you would include your picture.